in a way, the event was as lackluster as it was serendipitous because it was it was such an ordinary affair of going over the road and collecting this thing and then taking it back here. And then the next thing you know, oh, look, I got a new species and maybe even a new genus. We, we just took the mic back and looked at this uh, thing under, and initially looked at it under the dissection scope. You, you mount it under a slide, you put it under here, as we put it directly under a, um, a dissection scope, and we were able to pick out uh, live um, uh, live mites that we were then able to freeze it instantaneously with liquid nitrogen um, before we then put them into the LT, the low temperature scanning electron microscope, which um, basically normally these things would shrivel up, but because we were freezing them in liquid nitrogen, then they they look just like they, in, in the images you can see, they look just like they do in their natural state. They now it wasn't obviously it was a new genus, that took um, another year until we looked at this thing under a low temperature OCM and then we realized it had a very un unusual morphology, the mouth part morphology was very different. But, um, but initially it did seem very distinct in a number of different ways. So I, mean, I think within a, f within a few weeks it was kind of obvious that it was different enough to classify it as a new genus. This is my first published new species, so it was kind of cool from that point of view. <laughs>